Detroit, this is the first non-conference game this year where that you guys have lost, but still been close throughout the entire way. What needs to be done differently to close out opponents of this caliber? Yeah, I mean, I think down the stretch, we've got to do a better job of um, taking care of the ball. And I mean, a team like that, who's, who's that talented and skilled and just poised, can't let them hang around. So we got to extend that play <coughs> at the 10 minute mark because they kept cutting it kept cutting into the lead and eventually took the lead. So if you let them stick around, they're, they're going to be in the game, um, and they just came out on top. So we got to put them away when we have a chance. Tom and Ravi. So you had uh, an ability to get to the basket quite a bit today. Was there something you'd seen on film during the week with them, or was that just sort of how the game played out where you got so many good looks where, and were you at all surprised that they were never bringing us up again? Yeah, I think just the biggest thing was for us the guards to be aggressive because uh, we saw what they were doing to our bigs and they catch it they weren't letting them play so we had to step up and do some things um, and I mean we we move with pace so I was able to get over ball screens or on those uh, DHOs and get downhill um, and I, I had shots and certain reads so um, but I thought, I thought overall there's there's many things that could improve on as well. Ravi in the second round. Yeah that's right big picture what was the biggest difference for you guys Auburn game with this game? I'd say just our competitiveness. I think, I mean, they, they we got out tough to, and, um, against Auburn and it showed in the, in the second half and then late in the first half. And I think we took the right step forward. Obviously, we didn't get the job done today, but I mean, they're a great team right now and they got a lot of experienced guys that, that have been there for a while and have championship DNA. So I think for us to just learn from this. Um, because, I mean, it's, it hurts and stinks, but there's a lot of good things to take away from it, too. Uh, Trey, 25 seconds left down two, and you shot that three. Uh, what was your thought process in that moment, and looking back, did you shoot it again? Of course. I mean, I I thought it was good, um, but I mean, not all, all shots fall. Um, but next opportunity that I get, I'm going to shoot it again and make sure I make it. So um, I got to keep trusting my work because um, I, I work hard for this. And, I know I'm going to be able to make shots. So the next one I get, I'm going to make sure I have it down. Great. Uh, yeah, Trey, Winston mentioned that after Auburn, he was kind of unsure how you all would uh, respond after that. What do you feel like you guys, I guess you learned about your team in uh, the past weeks? Yeah, I mean, we got, we got fight. I know we, I know we got guys that are willing to compete. And we showed it for 40 minutes today. Uh, I think the biggest thing for us is to those kind of games when, when you're down the stretch, you've got to be the more poised team and, and make winning plays down the stretch. And they, they did that. Um, and they, they were able to make winning plays and they came on top. So I think just continuing to get better and um, learn from each other because we're, we're, we're still, we, we're starting too fresh right now. Um, so we're still kind of getting them to come along. I think they're doing a great job, uh, but we're only going to get better from here on out. So I'm, I'm proud of my team. Mike, and then right here in the middle. Yeah, that's right. That Mike talked about kind of the defensive intensity kind of lacking maybe down the stretch and maybe fatigue set in. Was that a factor? <coughs> and what do you kind of think contributed to it? I mean, no, I, I think down the stretch, it's, it's all about just really honing in what what what, what they're trying to do. Um, and I mean, we there's there's many plays I can think of down the stretch where there were some times where we messed up on assignments. I mean, I, I got to be able to get to that screen where McCullough, I mean, uh, he had Kevin in step three. Um, I was a big one, put them up three, and then obviously the low post catches for Hunter. I mean, if he, if he can't guard that, he's going to score that. So I think there's a lot of things where we got to clean up kind of stretch because those are the guys that are going to. Um, we got to know that. Are you a guy that thinks about that, like the night of, like those plays that you like, you know, you have those down in your head already? Like, is that something you'll think about here in the next couple of hours? Maybe it's tough to kind of turn the page once so close. I mean, it is. We're going to watch the film and, and learn from it. Um, yeah, but I mean, the great thing is we have another opportunity Tuesday to bounce back. So we got to learn from this. Like I said, it stings, but we got to learn from it and then bounce, bounce back and learn next game Tuesday. Try here, and then we'll finish with Rick. Trey, you guys shot 33% from the field in the second half. What did Kansas change or do differently to take you guys out of your offense? Um, you could tell they were more urgent um, in, their, in their defense, and they were kind of really just more focused and, and were in a stance and kind of doing more things to disrupt us. Uh, maybe trapping the handoffs and doing certain things to kind of take us out of our rhythm. Um, but I think 
we just got to find ways to keep flowing in the second half um, and keep playing our game. We can't let them affect what, what, what we do. Um, they change up certain stuff. So I think for us just to really uh, lock in our game plan and stick with it. Last question, Rick. Yeah, Khalil played 39 minutes. He played 38, Gabe 37. How much was fatigue a factor for the last five minutes? Um, I mean, you could say that, but I mean, we can't really focus on that because I mean, their their starting five is playing a lot of minutes as well. Um, there are a lot of guys playing down the stretch with um, foul trouble, but they, they just, they're playing and they, they play a lot of minutes. So I think just having our bench be ready when their other names call is going to be huge for us too because. It's not going to always be my night or someone else's night. It's going to be someone else. Someone else will step up too. So we're going to have guys that are going to step up at big time moments. Thanks, Trent.